Royalty Nation. It's me, Royalty. Of course, I'm back with another video, guys. As you guys can see, I am suited and booted because y'all know what time it is. It is time to stand on business. And um, I'm just praying and hoping still, like, I hope this is just the last trial that we have to go through and we can just, you know, move on with our lives and come up with a conclusion. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just um, so drained of this whole situation. I thought court was going to be over the last court date and I thought that we were going to actually come back that same week like the judge said but uh he extended it out for like three weeks so um it's just very very draining at this point guys but I'm just praying and hoping that this is just the last bit of what we got to go through you know what I'm saying and I'm just tired like I just I keep Ugh. that's how I feel like I just want it to be over and done with but um so i'm just getting ready and um just hoping all this would end and we can just move on move forward and do what we gotta do for the kids and you know but at the end of the day guys um it really doesn't matter what really happens when it comes to other situations that we are feuding about right now because we just gonna wait till after court. So um, guys, let me just get myself together. I got an early, early court date. So I'll get back with you guys when I come back. Still praying and hoping that it's the last one. So yeah, we're a teenage I'll catch back up with you guys after court. Okay, Royalty Nation, day number three, and uh, Lord have mercy. Um, we got one more day. Hopefully it's quick, easy, and fast so that we can just basically move on with our lives, take care of the kids, do what we gotta do. But um, in all reality, guys, I just feel like a lot of time and money was wasted when, you know, we could have came to you know, simple agreements. I mean, we could have came to a conclusion a long time ago, but like I said, it's more so of you just wondering what I'm doing, where I'm at, who I'm with, and like I said, it has really nothing to do with the kids, but um, today was pretty bizarre because, like I said, I've been called everything in the book when it comes to the other side, but today was probably the worst. I just honestly want to know, where do you get sex workers? Out of everything you didn't say, or a every in anything you can come up with in the, in the world, sex worker. What? What the fuck? That is bizarre. That is the craziest thing I've ever heard. But um, like I said, in all reality, everything's irrelevant when it comes to my personal life, what I'm doing, when I don't have my kids. Like none of that should matter at the end of the day. The main concern is, you know, the kids, their well-being, their safety, their needs, their time with either or parent. And I just hope that, you know, the judge makes the right decision into whatever he's going to decide. But at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. I didn't take you to court, you took me to court. So, like I said, I'm not really expecting anything not really wanting anything because it's already been almost a year and a half and you know you really weren't doing anything then so I guess I'm not really expecting anything but I just know that uh everything's gonna go how I want it to go and like I said I just can't believe today I was called a sex worker do I look like I say I'm Yes. I believe not, but um, I just can't believe that. I just feel like you're just trying your hardest to tarnish my brand, tarnish my character, tarnish whatever I stand for. And at the end of the day, I'm not gonna let that happen because I know what kind of woman I am. I know what kind of mother I am. And nobody can take that from me. Nobody can not take the love that I have for my children. Nobody can not take the hustle that I have for my children. Nobody can never do that. So a lot of the stuff that was being said was a lot of hearsay. Like I said, I've been called a lot of things. I've been called a drug addict, a crackhead, meth head. I've been called everything in the book. But at the end of the day, 
none of that stuff holds weight because, like I said, I know what kind of woman I am. I know what kind of person I am. I know what kind of mother I am. And I know that at the end of the day, your words, your actions, and anything that you try to form against me will never prosper because my mind is mentally strong. I'm physically strong. I may be a little bit drained. I may be a little bit tired of, you know, just the, the narrative of trying to control something that you can't control anymore. So like I said, I'm happy with the outcome that my Lori has presented for me. So next week, hopefully we get a ruling and we can move on with our lives, take care of our kids, do what we gotta do, be successful parents and, you know, co-parent the way that we should. And I mean, we've been doing good so far here and there, but uh, at the end of the day, I just wanna move on, you know? It's been almost a year and a half or it's almost been a year since we've been in court, but it's almost been almost a year and a half since we haven't been together. So I just feel like if we are happy in our situation that we are in, we should just move forward and just you know, leave it at that. Leave it as the kids and the kids only. Like I said, it has nothing to do with what I do on my personal time. It has nothing to do with who, who I'm with. And I just think we should just keep it at that. But um, I'm about to take my kids out. And as you guys know, today's Thursday. I'm about to take my kids out, spend a little bit of time with them. And um, yeah, we're to nation. Gonna get back to you guys in a little bit. So waiting for the other kids to finish with their studies so we can go out and have some fun before I take the kids to their dad's house today. So um, yeah, guys, just know I'm in good spirits as always. You know, I'm just, you know, trying to menti mentally stay grounded and you know like I said I'm a little bit drained I'm a little bit tired who wouldn't be because at the end of the day majority of the time is being wasted on somebody that has nothing to do with my kids my case or anything else so just trying to move on with my life you know move right along and do what I gotta do for mine me and mine so I'll get back with you guys later on Royalty Nation So we made it to John's Incredible Pizza, have some fun with my babies before. We gotta give them up, but uh, we outside. They're so happy. Hey CJ. Here, we did the twins here. Me and Nation, high five Nation, we did that, we did it. Okay. Two heads in the house. Okay, okay. What's up y'all, what's up? What's up Jelena? I'm not sure if there's going to be copyrighted music in here, but you already know when the loud music is there, I got to put my loud music over that or just mute it. So, like I said, y'all, we're here to have some fun. There's lollipops in there? Yeah, yeah, I see. You see? Yeah, and there's bars in there, too. Yeah, let's do this one right here. Let's have some fun. We get to ride some rides. I think we came here for the food. Not I came for the food too. Ooh, they got salads. CJ Day, you want some pizza? Yeah. You want some pizza? Yeah. Okay, let's get some pizza. Don't touch, it's hot. Go get some pizza, get, get them a plate. My boy Leon here, you ready to get on some rides, Leon? Little rides we got? Oh, no. I you don't want to throw up. Just a little ride, it's a little kitty ride. John's Incredible Pizza is like a um, a Chuck E. Cheese on steroids, I believe, because they don't really got like the little rides and stuff. Mommy. But they got free food. They got free food. Okay, Grandma got the plates. Yes. That's for parties. We don't have a party. Mommy, I want to go on the ride. Okay, we're going to go on the rides in a minute. Hold on. We're going to get some pizza and eat some food. And I got a card for you guys. All the kids got a card so they can play some games. Yes, dear. Ew, yucky pepperoni. Say, I don't eat pork. See, that's my plate. Leon's getting your guys' pizza. 
Chicken nuggets? When did they get nuggets? You see, like the ones from McDonald's. Ew. They got brownies. I'm gonna go get the brownies. Come on, let's go eat some pizza. Huh? I'll take that, Leon. I'll go put all the stuff that they want. Uh, what else do you guys want? Just give me pizza. Yeah, because I don't think we're gonna eat pizza, Papa. Yummy. When I go back, I'll think it's really make sure you got a pizza and a cinnamon bun. I want cinnamon bun. Okay, eat your pizza first. I need my pizza. Okay, thank you, Papa. Come on, Dad, eat your food so we can go play some games. Mm. What? Mm. Well, watch the video. Watch the video? They just baked it too. Sure, they just baked it fresh? Yep. Yummy, fresh. So you guys are gonna do a challenge. I gave you guys each a car, so we're gonna see who can collect the most tickets. That's me. I was thinking on the car. Leon like, loves this place this because, because it's like a, it's like a kid casino. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Yep. I'm just here for the food. And the kids in the contest too? I'm, I'm gonna be working the car with them, so we can be in the contest too. But y'all three, we're gonna see if we can get the most tickets, okay? All right. Better up. Y'all ready? Yeah. CJ Dea? I'm gonna go to play. Uh, you gonna go play? Yes. You gonna go play, Papa? Can you I say think... cucumber? Cucumber. 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 What do you say it was, Mom? I drink. I drink. I drink. Papa Bear Bear. <laughs> Okay, come on, let's go play. It's a kid casino, it is, because I'm I all you do is play on the machine and act like you're Okay, hold this papa. Can you record me? CJ is currently recording. Hold this there. Oh, a car kit! I got a kick ticket! She got a credit card, girl! Hold on, Dale. I'm trying to get CJ's points. He got 33 points. Oh, I got a big one. Okay, one second. I won five tickets. I just won 50 tickets. 50 tickets? I, I just... Leon over there playing basketball. Okay, y'all turn right here. Let's see. Y'all ready? Go see if my phone's on the table. Yeah, run, 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 run. How's the spin? Oh, start the. Let's see what my boy Leon doing over here. Ah! Okay, Leon, what happened? Hey, I'm so on 25 the 
points? Oh, you got 77. Pieces. 
twins said they not scared, so we gonna see. Mm. We gonna see if y'all scared. Oh, oh. oh my God, they should. You better I mean, spin it. No, do not spin it. Yeah, I, I am gonna spin it. Do not spin it, yeah. I don't want them to get sick. So y'all, we about to get on this ride. I'm a little bit nervous. I don't know when's the last time I done rode a ride, but you know, I'm trying to have fun with my twins, so. Rusty Nation, I've been on this ride a lot, but I wanna go on here, because I've never been here for a long time. Plus, it looks fun.
gonna take the start. We're gonna take a picture real quick. Yes. Touch the screen. Go, press it.
try it. We still got more tickets coming. They are one a lot. Oh, we got 160 tickets. One second, Dea. We get tickets. Are we gonna get tickets? Yeah. Dea won for us. We get tickets. You don't have no tickets? It's on the card. Huh? It's on the card. Oh, we almost got, we got 200 tickets. Oh. Mommy's turn no more. No, mommy, daddy, mommy, daddy. Wait, CJ, so I can put your shoes on. Mommy, 